Yep. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. Excuse my crooked parking, bro. All right, ain't gonna lie, I thought I was pretty straight, but it ain't. Anyway, um, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, bro. We are waiting on one of the homies to pull up right now because Vader is getting a new exhaust system finally. So if you guys have been following the channel for some time now, or at least following along with the build, then you guys know I am sponsored by AWE, and I am currently running the AWE track axle back exhaust with the four and a half inch quad tips. Can't lie, can't lie, can't lie. I love this setup. I really, really do. I feel like the tips fill in the diffuser perfectly. I feel like the tips and the exhaust change the tone of this car so much. It does not sound like your average LT1 motor, to be honest. To be honest, in my humble opinion, the car sounds way better. I feel like the exhaust note is very, very deep. It's very, very aggressive. And all in all, it just sounds crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, paired with the long tube catless headers and the three inch cat um well i guess you could say cat back you know what i'm saying it's an x pipe and connection pipes but they are all three inch all the way to the actual back which is also three inches um i can't lie this car sounds phenomenal however 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 you guys know if you've been following the channel for a minute we love going to the drag strip on this channel man we love drag racing this car and one of the things that help cars go faster is being lightweight. You know what I'm saying? Having the least amount of weight on the car as possible is the most beneficial as far as getting down the drag strip because of power to weight. Um, if you guys don't know what power to weight ratio is, basically it takes more power to okay then okay then got a little okay then but um basically it takes more power to move a heavier car than it does to move a lighter car so if you've got a light car with crazy amount of horsepower you're golden you know what i'm saying or if you've got a decent amount of horsepower but you've got a hell of a light car you'll see yourself beating cars that you really shouldn't be beating. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, we've got a new exhaust coming for the car. Um, the homie is actually donating his old exhaust off of his 6th Gen Camaro to your boy. I've been talking about this for the longest. If you guys follow me, on any of the other social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that, then you guys would know I've been talking about doing this to the car for the longest. And I've been on the fence about doing it solely because of two reasons. One, I love my current exhaust setup. I really do, bro. The only thing that I feel like this car doesn't do as much as it used to with the NPP is backfire. That's it honestly that's it but when it does backfire oh my god <laughs> them joints sound like gunshots i'm just gonna keep it a buck we do have a new exhaust in route right now which i'm super stoked about um we definitely 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 have needed a change right but the second reason as to why i've kind of been waiting and holding off on doing this or on the fence about doing this is solely because when I do this exhaust, right, I'm going to have to make a modification to the rear end in order 
to really see those gains. If you guys still have not picked up on what I'm talking about yet, basically we're about to be running dumps on the car. And that being said, your boy is gonna need to cut the diffuser right in this midsection because when going down the drag strip, that little flap is actually gonna be working kinda as a parachute where air is gonna be getting trapped under there. This is gonna, you know, cause some drag, some down, some downforce that we don't actually want. So that being said, I am gonna have to cut the diffuser. Um, that is another reason why I have not put a carbon fiber diffuser on this car because I knew that I was going to be running dumps whenever I go to the track. Now, the great thing about this exhaust setup is basically they're just some turndowns. So all I have to do is disconnect the exhaust clamps, remove the track axle back from AWE, then connect the turndowns to my current cat back and that's it that simple literally so i can switch back and forth from the track axle back from awe to the track exhaust for when i go to the drag strip which is really really dope i personally feel like the car may sound a little different with the dumps and i'm excited to see what it sounds like i personally feel like it's going to sound a little deeper which <laughs> you can't go wrong you just can't go wrong. A little bit of a double meaning there, brother. Just a little bit of a double meaning. But hell yeah, man. I'm super stoked. I'm super excited. I can't wait. The homie's on the way right now. Once he gets here, I'll cut the camera back on, show you guys the exhaust, and we'll go from there. But honestly, bro, I'm super stoked. Um, the goal is to kind of get this installed on the car maybe next week. Um, but that's just if I can go to the homie versatile speed um if i can go to the versatile crib and cut the diffuser this sunday then i'll install the turndowns this sunday but if i can't get over there because i got some work that i need to knock out it's completely cool i'll just do it the following sunday but like i said it'll be like five seconds for y'all but about 15 minutes for me let's go ahead and cut to when the homie gets here many unbearable hours later all right, y'all. So, bro just showed up. About to follow him to the crib. Go pick up the parts. I'm not going to film his crib. Just, you know what I'm saying? Safety reasons. But I'll get back to y'all as soon as I secure the bag. One hour later. Yep. All right, y'all. As y'all can tell, we're back at the JI HQ. And underneath this carbon fiber trunk is... Yes, Sersky. You dig what I'm saying? We finally got the turn down dumps for Vader, bro. Oh, finally, bro. I'm going to leave them in the car because I plan on putting them on very, very soon. But as you guys can see, we got the new exhaust bag secured. Shout out to the homie, bro. I'm going to put his Instagram on the screen right now. Make sure you guys go follow, bro. We're trying to convince, bro, to get back in a Mero. He actually had a 2019, if I'm not mistaken, that was fully built, bro. Fuel system, nitrous, 416, completely built. It was a nasty car for sure. He's had a couple nasty cars, bro. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in. We're talking Mustangs, Hellcats, Whippled Mustangs, by the way, Hellcats, Nitrous Camaros, you name it. Bros had it. Y'all go tap in with the homie. Um, I'm actually trying to convince him to get back in the Camaro, preferably a 1LE. That would be dope. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to the homie. If you guys stayed this far in the vlog, thank you so much. Do your boy a favor. Drop a like on this video. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just let me know if you guys are excited to see the gains. Are dumps really worth it? Do you really see a different in time, a difference in time or not? We're going to find out. But with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.